Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all of the praises and the glory to the Most High and His Son, Yahweh Bashmi Awashah Bashmi Rakah Kwadash. And double honor to the apostles of the great millstone that taught me this truth through the inspiration and power through Yahweh Bashmi Awashah, which is indeed through the Holy Spirit. And giving also to the brothers worldwide salutations to those that are pushing this word in that same spirit. And Shalom to the Akim Wa Akwafiyam that are heeding. And once again, it's your brother Laban coming at you in another video. And um, the title of this video is going to be called The Prophets of the Lord are going to speak on prophetic events to warn the flock Something to that equivalent And um, that's off of basically what I've been seeing um, Among these uh, leaders of these different camps You know, first and foremost, I just caught on to the live um, Yesterday of the elder on Required Come He was speaking on Captain Tazariak And um, you know, as usual, as he usually does Whenever the topic of the MOTB comes up, you know, he'll override and, and try to go over the correct interpretation of what the mark of the you know what is. And that's ultimately because he's been paid off. You know, he's a part of a camp that has been compromised long ago when um, General Johanna was the head honcho at the time. You know, so this is why they won't really speak on these topics. Because then it's going to upset their, um, you know, their exemption status. But as a true man of the Lord, getting down to this topic now. They're going to watch everything and they're going to report on events that are prophetic to warn the flock. So now let's begin. But thou, excuse me, but watch thou in all things and endure afflictions and do the work of an evangelist and make full proof of thy ministry. And I looked up this word proof. And the word is uh, plur plural thorough. I'm going to just play it. Hold on, wait there. Plera Ferrareo, which is um, to bear or bring full, to make full, to cause a thing to be shown to the full, to fulfill the ministry in every part. And I can stop it right there. Because the thing of it is, the Most High gave us a script to play when we woke up to this truth and we found out who we are. And there was a group of men that came before us and showing us the script to fulfill. And um, that's our duty. And as well as it reads, to carry through to the end and accomplish things that have been accomplished to fill one with any thought, conviction, or inclination, um, to make one certain. To persuade, convince one. Oh, as what Paul said. Paul said that he is um, convinced. This is there's another, there's another scripture that I'm thinking about. Um, through the fear of the Lord, we, we yeah, through the fear of the Lord, we persuade men. And there's also the apostle Paul said in the book of Romans, the eighth chapter, that nothing can deter him from 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 the love of the Most High. All right, so you gotta be persuaded to fulfill the ministry in every part and that even includes enduring all of that which is of the ministry to the very end without no breaks and this is why when you go up paul also mentions that um you have to be instant in season and out of season reprove rebuke and exhort with all long suffering and that's a part of it too you gotta know that eventually there's gonna come a time when you have to rebuke something whether it's something wrongly done or wrongly said, it has to be rebuked. And we're the only guys that does that. And we're the only men, which is, I'm going to get back to the point now. We're the only men that that are watching everything all around us with great prudence. And we're reporting what we've watched, or what we found out to warn the flock. Because that's what it's all about. The Heavenly Father has given us men to warn and as well as even the brothers that are, that are in the know, we ought to remind ourselves of what is to come. And that's through these lessons and these videos. Okay. And I just want to read the book of Jeremiah 51 and verse 12. As Jeremiah was in, he was in the, in the time where Babylon was, was doing, you know, pretty good. But he was also prophesying about the downfall of Babylon. With the um the the PD what is it the excuse me, with the Persians and the Medes. Okay, 
that they was going to come and take over Babylon. Um, Jeremiah 51 verse 12, set up the standard upon the walls of Babylon and make the watch strong and set up the watchmen, prepare the ambushes for the Lord have both devised and done that which he spake against inhabitants of Babylon. O thou that dwellest upon many waters abundant in treasures and thine end is come in the measures of thy covetousness. So he was speaking on the end of Babylon, the actual Babylon that was at the time. But this can also apply to modern day Babylon because in, in, in modern day Babylon, which is America, um, they're also abundant in treasures. As you can read in the book of Revelation, the 18th chapter. That explains that they're abundant in the treasures of, of, of the planet because um, these other nations, they'll they'll you know, they'll do business with America and, and sell goods in abundance to america as i can remember how it goes how she's how she's lived deliciously so this is what was going on at the time in ancient babylon okay you had certain rulers within babylon that were that were um over the other nations at the time okay so i just want to read this one more time just just to get back to my, my train of thought because i lost my train of thought my original train of thought because I wanted to say something else as well. So this reads, uh, make bright the arrows and gather the shields. The Lord have raised up the spirit of the, this is what I wanted to get into exactly. The spirit of the king of the Medes for his device is against Babylon to destroy it because it is the vengeance of the Lord and the vengeance of his temple. So, you know, you, I mean, he was like Jeremiah was referencing literal Babylon, but this can be included in towards modern day babylon because the thing of it is what you have in ukraine they're getting more u.s aid as usual as they should because that's their ally of course but what they're worried about is the ties of russia and iran because it's going to be by mainly russia of course and their allies along with iran which is going to take down the allies of America, which the greatest ally of America is Israel. So that's that modern day Persian media connection. Okay. Now the Persians are still in Iran, the Alamites, but the Russians, on the other hand, these are like uh, Edomites now because the Medes were your Japhites. Originally, they were siding by side with, with, that, with the, uh, the Persians at the time. So here goes this medio Persian tie. That's um, worrying America and worrying in the West to be exact. Because it's going to be by this coup that's going to destroy America and as well as destroy themselves in the means too, in this third world's nuclear war. So, um, again, this is what we're supposed to warn the people about, man. And I mean, like when you talk about IUIC, like I said, I mean, we're not hating on them. We're just doing our job. Because they're not going accordingly to the script. They're going off script. As I just showed you in the book of uh, 2 Timothy 4 and uh, what is it, uh, verse 5, right. I mentioned that you have to make full proof of the ministry. And a part of that is, again, reporting on, sub reporting on subject matters that, that needs to be brought out, that needs to be reported on so that eventually um, the, the sheep can be ready. And if you're not doing it, then that means you're a false prophet and most likely you're in hireling that care of not for the sheep. John chapter 10. Let me see some. Yeah, John chapter 10, verse 12. But he that is in hireling and not the shepherd, whose own the sheep are not, see of the wolf coming and leave of the sheep and flee of, and the wolf catch of them and scatter of the sheep. So once again, I mean, if you truly care for the sheep or your congregation, you're going to warn them of things that are going to get them ready. Rather than you speaking on basic things that your congregation already knows about and not really touching on subject matters that that we need to that not we, but their their um, congregation has to be prepared for. All right. Like this, this there, there comes a time where you got to stop teaching, keep the law, keep the law, keep the law. There's other things that you got to you got to teach on and warn the public. You got to speak on Jacob's trouble even. Like certain camps out there, 
they believe that Jacob's trouble is, is not is not gonna happen or or it's gay or whatever they say it that, that it is that the you know because they don't really want to get down to the nitty gritty of what the Lord's will is because a part of the will of the Lord are things they're afraid of. Again, this goes back to making foolproof of the ministry. If you're gonna teach this ministry and you're gonna do what you, you're gonna do it, then you gotta do it all the way. There's no there's no half and half. Oh, let me just pick and choose um, to teach with because I don't want to offend my congregation. And it just goes back to the video that I made. The reason why they're, they're, they're doing this, because for one, they're not they don't care for the sheep. They care about their pockets more more than anything else. So they're not going to go into topics that's going to be offending to people. OK, as it is written in Jeremiah 50, what is it? One, I believe it is. Isaiah 58 and 1 Spare not lift up thy voice like a trumpet And you don't care how people take the warning You just go and give the warning Because that's your job As a true man of the Lord Now if people get with it That's a beautiful thing If they don't get with it Then it wasn't meant for them Alright But then again it just goes back to the video that I did um, Concerning um, You know these dudes man When I was speaking also about the, neurolo the neurological technology that Glenn Beck was speaking about. I was addressing that video, and in that same video, I mentioned how the camps outside of GMS, for the most part, have taken that back, and it's been about the back, and it still is. So that's why they're going to speak on topics that are going to more likely um, woo their congregation rather than telling them everything of the scriptures. Okay? But we had the great no stone, man. We're, we're here to do our job sincerely. Let me read this. This is uh, Mark 13 and verse 34. For the son of man is as a man taking a far journey who left his house and gave authority to his servants. And to every man his work and commanded the porter to watch. And that's what we are. We're all porters. Okay. Watch ye therefore for ye know not when the master of the house cometh at even. Or at midnight or at the cock crowing or in the morning. Lest coming suddenly he find you sleeping. And what I say unto you, I say unto all, watch. And how are we watching? By doing as we do. We look at articles, we go in, we go into so many different subject matters. To better the flock. To warn the flock, most importantly. As it is also written. Give not the Lord silence until he make Jerusalem a praise on the earth. That's not happened yet. So that means we have to constantly be watching. And there's no time to be having the, this, this, these thoughts of doubt. Oh, I don't really feel like doing this or that when it concerns doing the work. You got to constantly be ready to do the work. If the spirit is, if, if, if you got that time the way you can do the work, do the work. Okay. Because a lot, a lot of work is, is needed to be done. As it is written, the laborers are few, but the but the harvest is great. If I said it in the right order. <laughs> so uh yeah, man, I mean that's pretty much all I have to say. Um if you're a true man of the Lord, you're gonna watch all things and you're gonna report on prophetic subject matters to warn the flock, man. That's all I have to say. I could very well do a part two to this. I'm just gonna keep this short for the sake of time. So with that I'm out and I say Shalom.